Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. Uh, I recorded a video um, yesterday of uh, making these altered uh, paper clips and uh, I was out of frame for over half of it. So I'm going to re-record the whole th process again and I'm just going to start over and hopefully this time I can stay in frame. So I apologize for that and um, for those of you that are just popping on now, let me show you what I have here. Uh, these are the cutest little altered paper clips, and I used um, Assorted Fussy Cuts by Happiness in Crafting by G. Kerr. And um, I will list the link where you can find these, and there are uh, several sheets of these uh, in different sizes. So... Um, I'm going to show you what I came up with with these little these little cute fussy cut items and I also used uh, scraps and uh, some of my glossy accents so uh, if you didn't see the last video which I have uh, taken down I'm going to show you some of these and then we're going to create a couple of these so this one you can see has a little basket and flowers and um, some of this gold thread and I'll show you how I did that um, the gold thread uh, in a during the video here's a parrot and what I used is some off cuts of uh, paper that I had used in my last project for some of these so I wanted to use that up and it, and it worked quite well so there's a lot of different um, you know uh, layering going on here and I pulled out and I've got my trusty scrap uh, container here and we will be using some of that in lots of different things and I'll talk about it while we're doing it so let's just quickly I want to just show you this and <clears throat> you can see the glossy accents here and here and I always forget to use use that and I'm just simply going to hold this up so you can see these so here's one here and you can see some fabric and here's one here and here's a little crystal in the corner uh, here's one here and I did a little tear from some tear paper and that I got um, off of Etsy uh, pink monarch prints and uh, several different sheets of this tear paper so what that is is you can just use it for collage and uh, different things and so I used a little bit of that and then I did use some uh, music paper on a few of these let me see here's a piece of music paper here and here's a flower uh, this dress form I pulled out a piece of uh, scrap um, sewing pattern paper so I did some script stamping on these this has a piece of ribbon and a little uh, pearl and a little embellishment there we've got a shoe here with a piece of music paper and some lace on some uh, pattern cardstock we've got these sweet little birds here and they I did the glossy accents and put a crystal up here this one has a piece of that tear paper behind it and just some eyelash trim uh, so these are just some ideas and this is the way I put it together because each one is unique as you can see with whatever scraps I've got laying around or on my desk. There's a crystal here. I did some glossy accents on that dragonfly. Uh, this one has a piece of that tear paper behind it and just some cheesecloth and um, did a little pattern paper there this one I did a little music paper eyelash trim and then there is a little brad in the corner this one I did the gold thread behind again and this one as well um, little glossy accents on these flowers and the sweet little bird um, I did some glossy accents on that and this is just some hand dyed seam binding and that's pretty much it so that's what i've got created these are the two i actually created on camera yesterday 
but I just pulled a couple more fussy cuts or a couple more out and we're going to do probably these two or these two I don't know um, probably these two let me put that one aside and so then I have my items here that I'm gonna need here's a script stamp and I just wanted to quickly yesterday in the video I wanted to show you how I um, easy way if you're new to you know fussy cutting out of flowers or items or anything like that I want to just show you how I do it um, I know it's to say we all learned how to cut when we were young I mean it was one of the first but I wanted to show you an easy way to do it that so I always come outside the border Okay, so, and let me see if I can really stay in frame. So, what I do is I move the paper. I don't really move the scissors. And this is an easy way to do it. So, see how I'm kind of moving around and just, you know, it's not that big of a deal uh, if you're, you know, outside and not right on it because you can ink that or, you know, you don't have to ink it. And then sometimes if you have a real small little thing like this hand, you can, you know, kind of just cut it right off if you want. But I went right around there and just move the paper, okay, and then continue on. So you get the, the idea of when you do a fussy cut, you, you, if you move the paper, you see how I'm shifting the paper around? It makes a lot a lot easier okay so there I got that one out quite quickly and um, let me put her aside because I'll use her so that's that's just a little bit on that now what I did is for the altered paper clips is I've got to get some paper clips out that's something I don't have on my desk because yesterday I put everything away because <laughs> I thought it was good to go and that's why you got to kind of watch your videos back huh so I have my box of paper clips here and um, so what I did is um, I picked the size I picked my fussy cut first my my image and then the size of the cardstock um, that I thought would look appropriate behind it so I could do a little bit of decorating and I don't want it too big and so I cut out two two of the same size this one's a little off but that's okay I'll just trim that down let me trim that down real quick and um, so that will be the back of the paper clip Okay, so now I trimmed it too small, but that's okay. This one's gonna go on the back, and this one's going to go on the front. So this will be the front, and we're gonna layer up this image here, and I'll probably use some glossy accents, and this will be the back, and the paper clip will be right in between, and I'll show you how I did that. Uh, did I show you the back of these? So all the backs have something on them. This one I did a little script stamping, and like with this one, you can see I did pattern, pattern paper. So you have something on the back. And you can also hide your paper clips if you want, but I did not do it with this. So you can see this one has a pattern on the back. So they all have, you know, the back is, is pretty too. So let me just move these aside. Okay, let's see how we're going to layer this up and what I want to do. Um... Let me see what I've got that might go with this in my scrap bin. I see this this green silk. I might use that with this with this one right here. Um, okay, I have I have some a little piece of seam binding here. Um, I've got some duck cloth oh I've got all kinds of stuff in here let's just see what kind of speaks to me I want to see if I had any cheesecloth because everybody usually has cheesecloth and that's easy to work with not in this bin no pieces of cheesecloth all right let's put that aside I think I have some right down here let me just pull that out yeah and there we go. I have some flowers here. Might use that. Okay. 
Now, the first thing I like to do is put down some kind of either script stamp or paper and get my ink out because I want to ink this. And I'm going to use this faded jeans, faded jeans. And get my inker here. Actually, I'm gonna use this one because. And let's go ahead and ink. Just ink right around. And I'm gonna ink the back. So I want this, so I will ink this side. And I think we'll just use some of this uh, blue color in the tear sheet. And that's going to go first underneath that. So um, let me see here. Let's just do this little, this is cute, seed, seed, seeds. So just going to tear around that. You can use a ruler, you know, to, to guide your tear so you don't you know, ruin the, the other images. So let me see how big of a piece I'm going to need here. Let me... That's going to be pretty good right there. Let me just take a little bit more off there. Okay, let's ink this. I'm going to be doing another video this afternoon on a altered um, or an accordion uh, file, uh, accordion style cover tag journal um, that I did last week, but I lost the, the video. Okay, let's put, um, we want a little fabric on here. So I think I'm going to do this and actually I might do that underneath. Just lay your stuff together to see, you know, what what you looks good. It's early here, so I probably need some more coffee to get. Okay, let's do that. And do I want to put a little bit of this around the bottom? And I think I will. Let me just cut a piece of this off. So that will kind of come out the bottom and I'm gonna put that in behind there. All right, let's glue these things down. Let me get my glossy accents out. And hopefully I can stay in frame. All right, I'm just gonna put some glue here. And you see, I got, it, it, it doesn't have to fit perfectly on. It can kind of hang over a little bit. And you can also take this to the machine after, before you put the paper clip on and sew. Just sew everything on. I did not do that, but it's, a, it's an option. Now we'll put our image on. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And I'm probably gonna come in and do a little crystal up here or a brad or something. Just a little something more. So I think I'll just put the glue on the bottom here. Let me move that music paper so I don't get and it has a little fold in it, and that gives it character. I don't have a problem with that. See that? A little bit too much glue there, huh? Okay, let's put a little something up here, and then we'll do the, uh, the glossy accents. Okay, that's right here. But let me see what I have in my little my little dish over here. If I have a brad, 
you could put a button, you could do a little, uh, you know, a little eyelet there and have a ball pin hang. But I have this, this brad right here. So I'm going to get my little pokey tool and pop that right on there. If my fingers would work. I got a weather change down here and my RA has been kind of acting up. All right, so we've got that. Now we can put the back on, then we'll do the glossy accents. So let me move the blues aside here, the blue. And this back here, and this I'll put back here. So try to keep my workspace a little bit neater than it's been. And okay, so this is where we're gonna add the paper clip. So I've got this gold, actually let me use a silver because this is more of a cool, cool, cool tone here. And I want the large part of the paper clip in the back where you're going to put, see, or you're going to, where it's showing and you're gonna clip it to the page. So, um, what I'm gonna do, and hot glue is really good for this. If you have a hot glue gun, I gotta get a new glue out. This one's getting very low. Or if you don't have a hot glue gun, get a really good glue, and this is because you're gluing metal here. And this is um, a Fabri-Tac or the three, Beacon 3-in-1 three is good. So I'm, I'm pretty generous with the glue there. And then you simply just put them together. And let me just line that up in the back. There you go. And one down. Actually, let's add the glossy accents. If you've never worked with glossy accents before, make sure you give it plenty of time to dry. It, it will take about 30, 30 minutes at least. So it's just like a, a um, gloss, well, it's just what it says. It's a glossy accent. And I always forget to use this. I like, I like it. But I always forget about it. Um, I used to use it all the time when I was making cards. I think it was on every card I made. All right, so I just did the butterflies. So when that dries, it'll look just like that. It'll stay nice and glossy. So let me put that aside to dry. And I keep a pin in the top here uh, just to, um, so it doesn't dry up on me. Because I cut too much of the tip off, so... Let me put this upside down. Okay, now we've got this one, these berries, and I think with this one, I'm gonna use some music paper and maybe a piece of doily. We've got this doily here. I had a smaller doily. I don't, no, I don't have any more of the super little ones, only in gold. I need to order some of the little doilies. I like, I like them. But this is the smallest, yeah, this is the smallest I have. So any scraps or anything that you have, um, you, can, you can do. Now, uh, I don't have pattern paper for that, so I simply am gonna use some manila colored paper. And let me just mark the size. I had a pencil on my desk. Here it is over here that I want, and I'm going to just mark this, and I'm gonna cut it, and I'm gonna do two again, and then we're gonna ink it, and I'm going to script stamp it. So I'll show you what I mean by that if you are new to uh, junk journaling. I know my, my um, paper cutter is out of frame, but 
I just don't have enough room on my desk. Okay, let me move this aside for a second. Um, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and use just I'm going to use some vintage photo on this this one. That one and this one. Just kind of dirty it up a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'll make the whole thing a little dirtier than that. Okay, now I have a couple of uh, script stamps here. Okay, so it's just got some writing on it, some, you know, script. And let's do this corner down here. And I just bring the ink pad to the stamp, and then I bring the paper right to the stamp. And just, no, no, shh, shh. Sorry about that, guys. Ricky, you saying hi? Hmm? Let's not. Let's say we did. Okay, so it's going to go this way. Let me do a little bit more in the corner here. There we go. And let's cut a little bit of, uh, or tear a little bit of this music paper. This is really old. Kind of tears quite easy. Shh. No, no. I have three dogs that join me in here every day, three rescues. So sometimes they get a little bit noisy. Shh. We'll do a little cheesecloth. Ricky? No, Ricky. Ricky's up on my sewing table. So he's up there and it's by the window so he can look out. And anybody walking down the street, he doesn't like that. He doesn't want them there. So let's do the music paper first. Actually, just a tacky glue would be fine for this, but I have this out, this this glue out, and it's it's kind of expensive to do just on paper crafts, but I have it because I need it for the back. Let me get that over. Whoops, sticking to my sticking to my fingers. Okay, and then we're gonna put the image on. So you can layer as much as you want. You know what, I wanted to add a little green on here. So let me just get a little piece. I have this or I have that silk. Let me just tear a little piece of this fabric. Just to pull out the green that's in the um, image. Let's see. Actually, I want it this way, because it's got a little gold in it. I actually made, um, I have a lot of fabric scraps because when the pandemic started, I, um, let me make sure that's in the right place. Yeah, just kind of slide that down a little bit. I made a lot of masks, sewed a lot of masks, so, and gave them to family and friends and, So I have lots of fabric scraps. Now we're just gonna put the back on and let's get a gold paper clip. Big side out, if that's the way you want it. Glue it. You know how, <clears throat> if you guys have the fabric tack glue and it bubbles, it bubbles out the top, if you keep it upside down, it won't do that. And sometimes it needs to be thinned out a little bit. It will do that if it gets too thick and you just take acetone and and um, <clears throat> add a little acetone in there because it's an acetone-based um, glue. Let me get this right. 
there we go. And the second one, you know what, let me trim this off the bottom a little bit. There we go. And there's the second one. And I'm going to do the same thing with the glossy accents. I'm going to come in and I'm going to do these little flowers. So, guys, I'm so sorry that the first um, video I was out of frame. Um, it happens. You know, I'm not a professional. I'm just trying to share you know, these th these tips and these uh, little videos just for paper crafters to enjoy. So there you go. So we've made two today. So I have two more for my stash. And these are great for your junk journals or to give in happy mail or as gifts. And they're really quite cute. Okay, guys, thanks for sticking with me and watching. And if you could please give me a thumbs up and comment, that really uh, helps me. Somebody's been coming on here and doing thumbs down uh, within one second of a video coming. When I air a video, uh, there's an immediate thumbs down. So it's somebody that's just trolling me and that's not nice. Is it? <laughs> okay, guys, have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye-bye.